Thanks for watching Seasonal Migration. Some digital what have ya. Tell you a little story about a, about a girl that I met in the, in the northern parts of the Americas. Man, man. Once new lady from a northern town, yeah, now the kind of woman you could ever settle down. She ain't gonna love you, no, she never will. Man, your heart's a pit of pet, like you swallowing the pill. What's it like, like having all these little groms in the community and just supporting them with their yeah. stoke? It's that's a, that's like our last little, feels like our last little piece of lineage, you know, those kids out there sitting on the reef and, you know, still, uh, I guess, doing the same thing we were doing when we were kids and it's inspiring to see how uh, bright-eyed and uh, happy these kids are and, uh, I wouldn't imagine they get they get beat on like we did when we were kids, but maybe that's uh, made all the difference just seeing them uh, feeling comfortable to be themselves and uh, just letting their little light shine. For the past few years, I've just been sleeping in my van down in Santa Cruz for the fall and winter. It's kind of a riffraffy town, and I know a lot of the people are pretty bummed that there's so many transients. But for somebody like me, I'm just surfing. So now, Koa's family's basically taking me in, and every time I go down, I get to see what the future's like. The crew's back home? Yeah. Point Marketing Cafe, that's where I always get my grub. They got pretty rad breakfast burritos, huh? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to get there? Ooh, I got this stuff. Um, it's french fries covered in cheese and gravy. It's called poutine. Kind of sounds gross, but. Really good. Canadians eat that, yeah, you know? French Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> now you get bacon on it, it's so good. Mm. So good. <laughs> Favorite meal in Santa Cruz? So we have a five, three and a half. It's gonna really turn out to be a five, four. Yeah. I like the sounds of that. And it is 17 and one eight. It's like McDonald's, you show up and your burger's already made. Bam, bam. <laughs> and I'm just under two. But we'll put the double in. That'll allow you to go rail to rail easy. Mm -hmm. And it has the rocker, so as soon as you can get it on rail, it'll be like your door. You gotta get it on rail. Santa Cruz has been known to be a pretty tough surf town. But with role models like Stretch and Darshan, Co is probably gonna be fine. Here's Noah Wagrich. There's not many places you get to actually go surf with some of your favorite surfers every day. Koa knows that and he appreciates it. And the community really adores the kid.
going to right now. His team actually went on to win the thing, which was pretty cool. And afterwards, kids all got to go trick or treating. It's pretty neat to see how things can be changed around with just a little bit of positivity. And as for me, it was time to head back north and get ready for the season change. It happened pretty quick. The weather changed in San Francisco, but I guess that's what keeps you going. Doug the Tunes, that was me playing. You can check it out at hobodave.tv. Same with the photos. Once again, thanks for watching. Yeah, that was the longest wave I've seen anybody get today, and it was by a six-year-old. <laughs>